Hey guys, welcome back to Enlightened Turtle. It's your host Kev here. So, in light of learning so much more about like British mytho mythology and like fascinating with Egypt and the Middle East and all these other places, I've decided to do a series of videos relating to the gods and goddesses. Now, I did do a short series of gods and goddesses that wasn't very good, if I'm being completely honest. So, it's something I have tried before, but this time I want to really open it up there's so many different types of gods goddesses in various forms uh, scattered about the literature and it's getting quite difficult to keep up with all the uh, the mythology and the, the mythos so i'm going to start putting it down on my channel and um, as a reference point for myself and for anyone else who's interested so without further ado in today's video we're going to be discussing merlin and um, don't forget to leave a like subscribe Get yourself comfortable and let's go. Merlin, sometimes Miradin, was the famous wizard of Arthurian mythology. So powerful was his magic that one medieval tradition credits him with the magical construction of Stonehenge. The standing British monument that has survived from ancient times. Another of his works was supposed to be King Arthur's famous round table a later copy of which can still be seen at Winchester today. Merlin's birth was subject of a strange story. Apparently the Britons were told that a great fortress they had built on Salisbury Plain, possibly near Stonehenge, would never be safe until the ground there had been soaked by the blood of a child who had no mortal father. Such a half-human sacrifice seemed impossible to achieve until it was learned that a beautiful girl was with child by a demon. The child turned out to be Merlin, who though baptised as a Christian, still possessed fabulous powers inherited from his demon father. Somehow the boy did not need to be sacrificed for the sake of the fortress, because it is likely that Merlin was able to deal with the problem by means of magic. Two dragons were in fact responsible for the problem, the mixture of pre-Christian and Christian ideas sits strongly with Merlin's later assistant to King Arthur, whose father, Uther Pendragon, was said to have successfully invaded Britain about this time. Merlin sided with Uther and employed his powers to enable him to sleep the wife of a Cornish nobleman. By disguising him as her husband, due to his deception, Arthur was conceived. Once he ascended to the throne, King Arthur had Merlin as his trusted advisor and often used the wizard as a messenger because as with many of the Celtic gods and goddesses he could assume any shape he pleased. There are various accounts of Merlin's death. One tells how the wizard forgot about the seat at the round table that only Galahad could use. Being the only knight worthy enough to see the grail, Merlin sat down and was at once swallowed up by the earth like other sinful men who had tried it before him, another story blames the wizard's death on a passion for women. Ether Vivienne, possibly the Lady of the Lake or Nimu, the daughter of a Sicilian siren, imprisoned him in a enchanted wood after Merlin had explained all the secrets of his own magic. As Merlin told Sir Gawain, who once passed by, I am also the greatest fool. I love another more than I love myself and taught my beloved how to bind me to herself and now no one can set me free so there we go that's uh, the mythology around Merlin guys uh, like I say there's going to be more of these videos coming along so if you like it you know what to do peace